In today's video I am going to show you a great split transition effect. Like this. Hello video editors my name is Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. You may know from this clip what kind of transition we are going to make. This transition is being used a lot in modern video editing and advertising these days, so I tried to make it in Filmora X, and we succeeded. I hope you like it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. So let's get started. So for that you need at least 8 videos. I have 8 videos in the folder. And I drag and drop them into Filmora's media. Double click the video in the media. And trim it 5 seconds later via the markout button at the bottom of the display screen. Similarly, trim all videos after a duration of 5 seconds. After trimming all the videos, drag and drop all the videos into the track below the timeline. Select all the videos on the timeline and copy them. Add one empty video track above. And paste copied videos into this track. Then go to transition and click on it. Search here for blurry roll 2. Drag and drop this transition between the first two videos of the track above. Now we have to search for the second transition, and that transition should be its mirror, that is, its opposite. And that transition is blurry roll 3. Drag and drop this transition between the first two videos of the track below. Search for another transition, the name of this transition is simple roll 11. Drag and drop this transition between the next two videos above. Now we have to find the opposite transition. And that transition is simple roll 10. Drag and drop this transition between the next two videos below. Search for another transition, called flip roll 1. Drag and drop it between the next two videos above. Search for the opposite transition. It has the opposite transition, flip roll 4. Drag and drop this transition between the next two videos below. Search for another transition for the next two videos. The name of the transition is cross roll 10. Drag and drop between the next two videos of the track above. Search for its opposite transition. The opposite transition is called cross roll 11. Drag and drop this transition between the next two videos of the track below. Find another transition. The name of this transition is flip roll 3. Drag and drop it between the next two videos of the track above. Now find its opposite transition. The name of the opposite transition is flip roll 2. Drag and drop between videos of the track below this transition. 
The name of the next transition is box flip one. Drag and drop it between the next two videos of the track above. And its opposite transition which is called box flip two. Drag and drop this transition between two videos of the track below. And for the last two videos, the transition they are looking for is called orb one. Drag and drop this transition between the last two videos of the track above. Find the opposite transition of this transition. The name of the opposite transition is Orb 4. Drag and drop this transition between the last two videos. So we have the same videos in both tracks. And we've put opposite transitions on the videos of both tracks. Select all the videos of the track above. And cut those videos or press the shortcut Ctrl plus X from the keyboard. Then export the track videos below it. Click the export button at the top, after doing the video quality and settings, etc., then click the export button at the bottom. Close the export page. Paste the videos we cut from the track above into the same track. Delete the videos of the track below. And export the videos above. Close the export page. Delete everything on the timeline. Now go to Media tab and delete everything from the media. Drag and drop both of the videos that we have exported into the media of Filmora. Drag and drop these two videos into the start of two separate tracks. Select both videos. And split both videos at the end of each transition. After splitting all the videos at the end of the transition, place the playhead on the first transition. Now we have to cut each video according to the transition. If the transition is to landscape, then we have to cut the videos of both tracks to half screen and landscape. And if the video is of a portrait, then we have to cut the portrait key in half screen. Select the video above, and click on the cut tool. Select custom in the ratio. Now how do we know if this is half screen or not? So for that we have to divide the size of one side of the ratio by half. I have this transition landscape. So I divide 1080 into 2. After dividing by 2, it becomes 540. So I enter 540 instead of 1080. So you can see that we have this video cut in half screen. Place the cut position at the top of the video. OK. Move the video position up to the top of the display screen. Click on the video below and cut it too. Customize the ratio. Enter 540 instead of 1080. 
Place the cut position at the bottom of the video. OK. Move the video down to the bottom of the display screen. This transition is also landscape. The method of the next portrait transition will be a little different. So this is the method of landscape transition. Now we know how to crop a portrait transition. Place the playhead on the portrait transition. Select the video and click on the crop tool. Select custom in the ratio. And divide 1920 by 2, so that's 960. So enter 960 instead of 1920. Place the cutting position on the left side of the screen. OK. Move the video position up to the left side of the display screen. Customize the ratio of this video too. And enter 960 instead of 1920. Place the cutting position on the right side of the screen. OK. Move the position of this video to the right side of the display screen. So this way you can adjust the rest of the portrait and landscape videos. So we made the transition we wanted to make. I hope you enjoyed this transition. If so, like the video. Subscribe to Solly Tutorials for more great videos. And also visit my second YouTube channel Royal Solly. Take care. Thanks.